We're at the Gaylord Opryland Event Center and we're here for ICE featuring Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and they're going to tell the story of Rudolph using ice sculptures and we're gonna go check in and our entry time is three o'clock there's a picture spot right here close to the entrance this whole indoor area is part of ice this part out here you don't need a ticket for it's just a big gift shop there's the QR code in order to get into the ice show and the adults were $35.99 over here where it says ice is where we show our tickets and enter Donna, are you ready for this? Yes. Are you ready to get cold? Yes. Are you ready to get real cold? No. Okay, it's gonna be real cold. <laughs> right as we walked in, this shows some of the past showcases. Oh. Plus the night before Christmas, things that they've done in past years. At this one, it says, meet the artisans. Our troop of ice-loving artisans hails from the city of Harbin, located in Northeast China. So they come a long way to do this, and it takes a team of nearly 40 to create each ice show. These are some of their tools. Ice tongue, nail board, chainsaw, handsaw, flat chisel, and a brush. This is the actual ice. This is where they let the kids touch it because you're not allowed to touch it once you get inside. Okay. Thank you for not licking or sitting on the ice. And I never had any inclination to want to lick it or sit on it, but some do. If you licked it, your tongue would probably get stuck to it. So after you look at some of the exhibits in the outer room, you can go on inside. They're showing here the history of how ice came to be. Continue to walk down this way and around the corner to the right. We are going to get you fitted for some blue parkas. And they're talking about the rules of the ice slides. Number one, follow the instructions of our ice attendants to ensure a fun and safe experience. Number two, guests who are unable to walk up the steps may not ride. And we dressed warm, but they also give you these parkas. Everybody gets one. It's actually nine degrees inside and they don't give you gloves so if you want your hands to be warmer bring your own gloves and that's where we got our parkas the pine top parka pickup and pine top is just the name of gaylord opryland's christmas event this year so we have our parkas on and i think we're ready to go into the actual event and we're in this is all actual ice that they carved There's Rudolph, there's Hermie. Looks like the opening to the cartoon. This tells the beginning of the story about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And there's Sam the Snowman. There's Rudolph and his family. And this is flight training school where Rudolph learned to fly. And there's Santa cheering him on. And there's Clarice. see why they have to have it at nine degrees the trees are all made of ice Donna go push that button how does that do light up his nose makes his nose light up that's a giant Rudolph here's the toy shop with the elves working Hermie telling him he didn't want to make toys, he wanted to be a dentist. And as you go along, you can read the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is at Santa's castle. The toys up there. How did they fasten those balls? Yeah. They make holes in the ice and put the hook in there. Oh yeah. And this is Rudolph and Hermie on the iceberg. Floating off because they were two misfits. So they set off to see what they could find. Wow. Here's the northern lights and more icebergs. And we're to the part of the story where they find the bumble. There's Yukon Cornelius and Rudolph and Hermie over there. Floating away on the iceberg. These icebergs look really cool. The ice mountains. Yeah. This is Yukon Cornelius and his sled. 
There's one of his sled dogs, a beagle. And there's the bumble, the abominable snowman. Look at all those sharp teeth. There he is. He is huge. It looks pretty scary. This tells about him finding the giant creature, an abominable snow monster. We're going into the ice castle. And in here is where the tubing is. There's Stan over there getting ready to go down the slide. There's like actually four slides, but I only see people coming down three of them. Whoa, she slid good. Stan's still in line. He's almost up there. I think he's about one, two, three, four, five people. There's a little bitty guy coming down the slide. So fun. There's the lion of the misfit toys on the island of misfit. This is all made out of ice. Here he comes. doing it. Just finished doing that so now we're gonna go down this ice tunnel. The ice slide was a lot of fun. Yeah it's really tall and I think it helped you go faster if you made sure you sat on the tail end of your parka. Look at this all Oh wow out. that is so cool. When we come out of the tunnel and there's Rudolph going around on the turntable. Rudolph knew he couldn't stay. He knew his red nose would give them away. So Rudolph's parents and Clarice went out looking for him. And they were trapped in the cave with the bumble. And Rudolph came to the rescue. Pulled out his teeth. Pulled out his teeth. Hermie saved the day by pulling all of the bumble's teeth out. Look at all those teeth on the ground. And the bumble doesn't look so scary anymore without his teeth. Is cool. And there's Yukon Cornelius up there. And there's Rudolph looking on. Walk down this other tunnel of snowflakes flashing and then into the final scene of the movie where everyone's back together celebrating Christmas. A giant Christmas tree made of ice. There's some of the misfit toys. They found a home. And there's the bumble putting the star on top of the tree. He's part of the family now too. Happy holidays. And with Rudolph and the whole gang's help, Christmas was saved. That's awesome. This was a lot of fun. It was a really cool, literally cool way to tell the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And there's Santa. All the reindeer. It's pretty amazing. This is really pretty. The nativity scene. Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus, the wise men, shepherds, and the angel, Angel Gabriel. That is just incredible. Just to think that was all carved out of ice. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. This is the perfect way to end the ice event with the nativity scene. Beautiful. And this is the park of drop off. Thank you. So it took us about 45 minutes to get through it. When you come out, you end up in the gift shop. So here's some of the merchandise that specifically says ice on it. Gaylord Opryland that you could get as a souvenir. Uh, $30. There's coffee cups down here on the bottom. It says Ice Gaylord Opryland. Those are $12 for the coffee cup. Opryland Ice. And it has Rudolph on it. 
How much are these? $10. There's Hermie. Annabelle. Santa Annabelle. Oh, look at the Hermes. Squishmallows. How much is he? $30. How much is the little one? 18. He's so cute. Ice Gaylord Opryland, and there's a big Rudolph on the top. And they're $22 for a t shirt. Donna, what did you think about Ice? I give it a 10 out of 10. It was very cold and it was very cute. Yeah, it was very cold. Nine degrees. There's a reason they give you those parkas. And we also dressed warm. Long underwear is a good idea. It helps. And wear gloves. Yeah. yeah. But it was really, and yeah, and a hat. But it was a lot of fun, really amazing. Yes. And we got hot chocolate inside right before we came back out. Yeah. It's got marshmallow cream in it. It's got whipped cream on it. It's really good. Well, you want to tell them all goodbye, Donna? Okay, well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more adventures. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.